Hello, folks. Uh, let's continue with the lecture of uh, lecture series on the magnetic field, or let us say, uh, magnetism. So, last time we talked about the origin of magnetism, and then uh, I drew the uh, magnetic field lines. I defined magnet, and uh, I drew the uh, lines of uh, field lines of uh, several magnets or magnetic things. Uh, for example, the solenoid, which is a magnet, which shows something magnetic properties, and uh, still one more <coughs> one more uh, item is remaining. Uh, which will be essential, essential uh, later to <coughs> study the motor effect. So that thing is uh, <coughs> the drawing of field lines of a straight conductor. So our topic will be field lines, magnetic field lines uh, due to due to a straight a straight conductor, straight conductor which is carrying current, which is carrying current. So uh, what people did was uh, actually this thing was uh, found by Mr. Oersted uh, when he first uh, detected the magnetic effect of current. Magnetic effect of current. Uh, it is said that he was uh, performing some experiments on electricity. Uh, his whole devices were on the table, and by chance he had a combustion needle also, needle also side by. And when he switched on, there was a changes in the direction of the combustion needle, and with that he came to uh, conclude that. Uh, there was a, a magnetic field in electric wires and he found the, the patterns for several types of conductors. So one of the thing is what he did was uh, this is a cardboard, cardboard we are seeing from side view so it appears somewhat like this and when I draw these uh, diagrams I often uh, draw myself in such a way that uh, this side is longer than this side, this side because this is the side towards us and this is the side away from us. So it has to be longer. So I am giving it a, an idea of a 3D view. And here I have got a hole here. So a hole has been punched here. And through this hole passes a conductor. So the conductor will be like this. So it comes from below like this. So this is the conductor, a thicker conductor because it is getting some sort of heavy current. And here the upper portion of the conductor of the conductor. So this is the upper portion and the lower portion and it is the hole. And now what happens is this thing, <coughs> what happens is what happens is this portion will not be seen from uh, seen from above. So that's why I make it dotted. I make it dotted. So I often do this uh, deliberately. I don't uh, draw dotted lines uh, in the first attempt. I do this later. It's because uh, uh, I want to punish those students who do not bring pencils or erasers in a classroom. So, so if I rub it, they have to, uh, if they do it with pen, uh, they will feel trouble. And uh, I think it's a good punishment for them <coughs> for not bringing pencils. So this is the setup. Now what happens is, now if uh, I allow current here, current in upward direction like this, upward direction, this is I and this is I. And if I sprinkle iron dust here, fine iron dust particles and tap it like this. Like this, they will arrange into a pattern. Uh, not only that, uh, if I use a compass needle also, compass needle and place at several positions, they will also show a pattern. Now the pattern will be like this. So if I place iron dust and tap it like this, the pattern will be circles. Now we will see circles around this wire and those circles are concentric circles. They are concentric circles and uh, uh, the, the spacing between the circles increases as we go far away from the conductor. So they are concentric circles. The spacing between the circles increase as we go far away from this wire. So the first circle will be like this. So since we are uh, watching sideways, they will not appear as circles. They will appear as some sort of ovals or ellipses. So the first will be like this, like this, like this, like this. So the first circle is like this. So as I have already stated, it will be like ovals or uh, ellipses. So the second circle will be somewhat like this. This is the second circle. See, you cannot see this portion here because it is blocked by the wire. So let me uh, let me correct this thing here. This portion will also not be seen because it will be blocked by the wire. So we have now two circles. Now the third circle will be such that the distance between second and third circle should be more than the distance between first and second circle. So let me draw it somewhat like this. So let me increase the distance like this. So I have increased the distance and it looks... Uh, close to reality yeah like this and then fourth one the distance of the fourth circle from the third 
will be more than the distance of second circle from the third. So that's why I'll make it more separated here like this. Like this. Like this. So this should be the pattern of the circles. Now the direction will be so uh, when he, uh, Mr. Oerstedt did this, he, uh, he used a compass needle also to find the directions. So what he found that the direction of the compass needles were somewhat like this. So the compass needles pointed somewhat like this. So when he placed the compass needle here, it pointed like this. When he placed here, it pointed like this. When he placed here, it pointed like this. When he placed here, it pointed like this and so on. So now what he did was, uh, if so, if so, then he used a rule it is called as a right hand rule right hand rule and it belongs to ampere right hand thumb rule it belongs to ampere it says that if we denote the current the conventional current by the direction of the thumb the direction of other fingers will give the direction of the magnetic field lines so if this gives current this direction gives the magnetic field line so here i can see here this is the current and this is the direction of the magnetic field lines so this approaching us and here this going away from us so here it will be going towards the, the direction and here and here it will be it will be going to this direction so this is how we apply this 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 rule and it is the right hand thumb rule so let me repeat that it is the right hand thumb rule so i can draw these patterns at many many places here many places here so it's the same for all circles it's the same for all circles so this is the magnetic field pattern now what I do is let me have another cardboard. Let me have another cardboard. Uh, let me have a similar type of hole there, hole there, and uh, let me uh, allow current in reverse direction. So if the current is reversed, all the pattern will be same, but the directions will be reversed. So what I do is what I do is so if uh, I draw the conductor like this, conductor like this. So this is the conductor. Conductor, so this is the so current is flowing like this, flowing like this. Now the pattern will be different. It will be somewhat like this, like this. So here, if I draw a circle like this, so let me say, let me draw a large circle here, large circle. So here the pattern will be like this, and here it will be like this because it is somewhat like this, coming towards us, towards you, towards us, and here it is, <coughs> it is going in that direction so it is means going in that direction so this will be the pattern of the field lines now if we observe if we observe this thing from upward if i observe this thing from upward what will be the view be like so it's a very uh, important thing to discuss to imagine to think and also it's a part of a, a part of questions of the exam and uh, and definitely in a level what uh, people do is uh, they try to they try to try to evaluate your visual capacity also so they want you to imagine so if i have uh, i have my eyes over here what will i see so i see visual somewhat like this so first of all this is a cardboard so let me see it's a square cardboard so this is the square cardboard i have square cardboard then i will see the conductor this is the wire so this is the conductor and uh, when i look from here let me say my eyes are here these are my eyes these are my eyes so current is coming towards me current is coming towards the eyes so that's why i will draw here dot circle and uh, uh, you must know that in uh, mathematics and uh, physics we use uh, dot circle to denote something that comes towards us and we use a circle and cross cross circle to denote you know, something that goes away, away from us there's a long story why such symbol have, has been, have been chosen i might discuss uh, someday so here it means that the current is coming towards us now the circles now the circles when we observe from here so at uh, at same distance the effect should be same at some distance same distance the effect should be same so that means this should be perfect circles so now the perfect circle will be somewhat like this the first circle will be exactly concentric to the to the to the borders of the wire this is the first circle the second circle so till second circle we don't have to follow any rules from now onwards now rules start because the third circle 
will be uh, situated a bit farther away. So it will be, distance should be more. So I have made the distance more. Distance more. So this is the third circle and the fourth circle. The separation between third and fourth should be more than the separation between second and third. So that's why I make it even more. I make it even more. So it will be like this. This is the fourth circle. So this is the fourth circle. Now, what will be the direction of the field here? So for that, I apply this rule. So this is the <coughs> excuse me, right hand thumb rule. So current is coming here in this direction. So I will point the fingers like this. This is the direction of the field line. So that's why here, here, the direction will be to the left. So here, it will be to downwards. Here, it will be to the this direction. And here, it will be going coming up coming up so here also coming up going down going to the right going to the left going to the left going to the right and so on now if I do the same thing if I do the same thing and watch this thing from below so if I watch this thing from below what will be the visual like so what will I see so this is the eye so now in that case everything should be reverse the circles will be there, of course. So we can have reverse of a circle. Uh, and uh, the first, uh, this thing will be different because current will be going. So when current is going, I must uh, draw it as a cross circle. So it will be, it will be cross circle here. Cross circle. And uh, if I do this, it will be like this. So right hand thumb rule, thumb rule of uh, ampere like this. So if I do this, the direction of all these things will be reversed. So, so I have to rub it, I have to rub it and draw this. So it will be like this, like this. So it should be like this. It also will change. It also will change. So everything will change. Everything will change like this. Again, like this. Like this. So I made more arrows and which you is making the process slow here slow right now like this like this so these are the directions of the of the uh, magnetic field so you can see here like this like this like this clockwise and here again clockwise now sometimes you might make mistakes you might make so if you draw somewhat like this if you draw somewhat like this then you have to compare it with others and compare with this thing so it has to match this thing so that's why it is not correct so this thing will be correct so these are the field lines due to a straight conductor from every possible angle every possible angle so uh, so this is perspective view two diagrams and they are direct view from above and from below so you have to take these things into uh, in your mind uh, as a clear as a mirror image let us say as clear as a mirror image and it will be very very beneficial when we study uh, the effect of uh, magnetic field on a current carrying conductor so at that time we need this theory once again